They did not want you to know, and they're hoping by shutting this down, you don't find out, that they were creating this because of conservatives and because of, quote, as they say, the right wing. Do you want more proof? Here's the Washington Post journalist who broke the story explaining what happened here. Trying to explain. Jankowitz's example is a prime example of how the right wing internet apparatus, whatever mm -hmm. that means, operates where far right influencers, far right, I mean, this is, you're talking about mainstream folks, mainstream you know, people who are, there was such outrage on this from the Republicans from the middle of the road to the, to the right wing, an attempt to identify a target, present a narrative, and then repeat mischaracterization. So supposedly misinformation and disinformation is the reason why there's no disinformation governance board, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. It, but they do admit this, the Washington Post. It shows what happens when institutions, when confronted with these attacks, don't respond effectively. Remember Mayorkas said we could have done a better job of rolling this out? There is no better way to spin a speech police in the United States of America. I said this idea of being a free speech absolutist is a good thing in the United States of America. We are not the awful speech that's lawful speech is protected speech. The government doesn't get a say in awful speech that's lawful speech.